Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I got a quick little something I want to share, I guess. Um, under the heading of make time to play with your equipment, learn your equipment, that kind of thing. Um, got a 05 Chevy Tahoe 5.3 with an knock sensor code. No surprise, right? Um, almost as common as a Nissan knock sensor. Uh, I didn't bring it along. I already got the intake off. I got the knock sensors out. But in full disclosure, this isn't my idea. Eric up at South Main uh, already did a video like this. I thought it was interesting. So this is the first time I'm doing knock. The first time I'm doing knock sensors since I saw his video, and I wanted to play around my scope a little bit. Um, so I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll show you what I'm working with here. Let's see. This is gonna be a no-brainer, right? That's the new one. That's one of the old ones. And that's the other old one. You want to guess which one's bad? Um, <laughs> I'm going to start off with the our new sensor. Um, uh, where am I? 100 millivolt, I'm sorry. 100 millivolt AC scale, one second per division. That's a mess. Why is it like that? There it goes. It's called a good connection. Now, my uh, specialty hammer. We're just going to give it a little tap here. Can you? Oh, let's back out a little bit. Quick tap. Looks responsive. I get a. I get a nice something to reference on. Stop. All right, we're gonna switch over real quick. I'll go to my. Uh, we'll go to the, the better of the two that I pulled out of the truck. The one that looks like it's pretty clean. Looks like it may have actually been replaced. Hard pressed to believe that somebody actually took the intake off and replaced one knock sensor, but not unheard of. Simple little tap. I'm not really wrapping it hard, but I'm getting the same. Basically, like I said, this is just a comparison thing because I don't know that there is a known good uh, pattern on a knock sensor. I think it's just, as far as I know, it's a comparative thing. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Um, but this one appears to be working pretty well. We'll switch off to the one that looks like it's um, been hanging out with the Titanic. I think it's got some barnacles on there. Again, this is pretty obvious. I know it's the bad one. I'm just taking time to play with my scope. Showing you guys this is what a... Uh... Let's try again. And right away you can see that I think that looks pretty horrible. Even if I tap on it. I get nothing that looks like the other two. Pretty safe to say that the barnacled up one's bad. Um, and that's really about it. I just wanted to share it. I thought it was a cool thing. I saw Eric do it. I wanted to play with it. Um, look, I'm going to throw it on the floor. Ah, now it's really bad. And that's it. Just learn by practicing, right? That's what everybody keeps saying. You, gotta, you have the scope, play with it, hook it up, make a mistake, you know, do it. Um, do it enough times until you get it right. Don't wait for the problem car to come in to be hooking stuff up and realize I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, unfortunately, you have no choice sometimes when it's new, but you know, there's no reason not to play with it. I have a few minutes. I got the new sensor. I got the old sensors. Let's play with it. I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, just something you can do. Make sure. And you can actually do that. Um, yeah, I guess you can do that with it hooked up. It wouldn't rule out a bad harness. If you have a bad harness, you might get the same thing. Uh, or a bad ground in the sensor. But it's, at least you know you're pulling the intake off for a good reason. I did mess up parts here. I did get the new harness. Always recommended. Two new sensors from the dealer. And because uh, I don't feel like doing it twice. That's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for checking it out. Hope everybody's having a great day.
We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.